Okay, welcome back to the channel, and uh, if this is your first visit, thank you uh, for watching this video. Uh, this is another for sale video. Uh, what I'm offering now is a 1970 6106 8227, otherwise known as the Rally Diver. This is um, a really great example of this style of watch. You know, Seiko has such a, a heritage of dive watches and even what they would consider a sport diving watch. This is, this is well within the sport diving territory. Um, it has effectively the exact same movement as a Willard. In fact, it's a more complicated movement than a Willard. It's a 17 joule um, 6106 designation, which gives it the day and the date. Um, it hacks just like a Willard, uh, the B uh, movement in the 6105 category. Uh, but this is what I would consider essentially a fashion diver. It's, it's one that, that Seiko put out to, you know, emulate the professional divers, but, you know, have more flair. It's, uh, it's not necessarily a deep diving watch. It's a 70 meter, which is essentially splash proof. Um, but it's not a watch that, you know, Seiko intended to be uh, for diving. It was one that was supposed to look good. And I think it does. That blue and white checkerboard um, and that really neat sort of cross-hatching uh, pattern on the bezel. Uh, this has a bi-directional bezel, which is just a friction fit with a gasket. Um, I've fully serviced this watch. It has new case back seal new crown seal. It has our, um, of course, uh, mainspring R report jewels put in. It's been lubricated, serviced, cleaned, everything taken care of. The dial on this watch is just stunning. It has a new type two crystal, just like the 6105s. It's exactly the same crystal. Uh, this is hard lex, so it's the proper material. Uh, the bracelet is original to the watch. It is a Seiko bracelet. It is Japan Z, which is the designation for these early stainless steel bracelets. It's just got such cool flair. I love the style of this watch. Um, it's such a neat one. Anyway, um, in terms of, you know, the, the, the thing that's important, the internals, the, the actual running of the watch, uh, it's it's effectively the same as a 6105, uh, but it is more, again, like I say, more of a fashion statement rather than a diver. Uh, it has some weird engraving here on the back, which I'm not really sure where that came from. Um, somebody with a engraving pen back, back in the day. Uh, this has been serviced once in the past. I know by the Seiko Service Center, it has the stamp in the back. Um, and I'm going to leave that in there. I didn't wash it because if you put it in the cleaning machine, it, it actually removes it. But I'll leave that in there as part of the heritage of the watch. Um, I can turn off the hacking and set it back running. Uh, we can go through all the function of the watch. We can watch the day and the date. Click over, of course. It's very important. Make sure everything's working exactly as it should. There it goes. This is actually early enough to where all the components in the train of wheels are, are fully metal. So that's kind of nice too. Uh, we can, of course, set the, set the day and date by just pushing in the crown, much like a, it has the same keyless works as a 6139. Anyway, I just love these. They have such cool, cool look. Um, really neat watch and a really fun, fun thing to wear. I wear mine quite a bit. Well, if you're in the mood for a funky 70s sport diver, let me know. Thanks for watching.